I made a really funny image of me holding a giant lottery tickets. And the best parts, I never even bought a tickets. Or how about this? How about me having a beer with Donald Trump and President Putin in Thailand? Or for all you sci-fi fans out there, what about a high detailed high res image of me with a matrix vibe? And what's cooler is you can convert all these images to short videos using Google VO3. Pretty crazy, right? You can make some really interesting photos and even like a lot of troll pictures using this platform. My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a complete tutorial on how to use Nano Banana step-by-step. -step. Nano Banana is an AI powered tool that uses the Gemini model that allows you to instantly generate fun, unique, and even professional quality images and stories just by describing what you want. It's almost like an AI with Photoshop. Parents can use it to make bedtime stories and illustrations for their kids. Content creators can use it to create visuals for YouTube videos, blogs, and social posts. And if you wanna make money with this tool, I'll give you a really creative strategy and not something that's really generic. I'll walk you through how to create child stories with a few prompts and upload them to Amazon or other bookstores. You'd be surprised how easy these books are to make and how much money you can make from them. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use Nana Banana. I'll also give you real life examples, and then I'll give you some inspiration on how you can use it for your own projects. So let's get started. Now there is a link in the video description. This will take you to Google Gemini where we can access Nano Banana. Okay, so this is the Google Gemini model, and this is where we can access the Nano Banana. Now real quick, some things to consider. So right now we are on 2.5 flash. Uh, they tend to update quite often, so just make sure that you're using the latest version. Now, I'm going to give you a very basic example, and then as we go on, I'll give you more advanced examples. And by the end of this video, you'll be making advanced stories and videos and all sorts of cool stuff. But let me just show you the basics. So here at the bottom under tools, if we click on tools, you'll see we have the option with create images. Now, this is using the Nano Banana model. So we also have options for deep research, create videos with VO3, and also Canvas. But uh, the main one we're going to focus on here is creating images and also creating videos a little bit later. So the first thing I'll do is click on create images. Now also you can always upload images of yourself and combine those with other images. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. But just to give you a very basic example, let me walk you through this. So here we go. Create an image of Donald Trump and President Putin having a glass of beer in Thailand. And here we go. So now we have a picture of Donald Trump and Putin having a glass of beer in Bangkok. Now, maybe you want to have them drinking beer at the beach. So what we can do is we can instruct the AI to add specific things on the image without altering like Donald Trump or Putin. So here we go. So for instance, have them drinking on the beach in Thailand at sunset. And here we go. Now we have an image of Donald Trump and President Putin drinking beer. Now notice if we scroll up right here, the actual image of Donald Trump and Putin did not change, only the background did. So essentially what you can do is you can instruct the AI to modify specific parts of the photo without adjusting the entire photo. Now maybe also you want to add in an image inside of this photo. Maybe you want to put an image of yourself in this photo. So over here, I'll click on the add files and click on upload files. And then I'm going to find an image of myself here. I believe it's right here, here we go. And I'll click on open. And now I'm going to instruct the AI to add me inside of this photo. Can you add me in this photo at the end of the table drinking beer with both presidents? And voila, now you'll see a picture of me drinking beer with Donald Trump and Putin. Now the great part is, is you can always adjust specific parts of the photo. So if you want Donald Trump to raise his hand or something, you can instruct the AI. You can also change the background without affecting the other uh, people in the photo. To give you an example, so I'll put change the background to China. And bam, now you'll see that we have all three of us drinking beer in China. So you can essentially uh, command specific things in the photo without adjusting it. It looks more of like an AI with Photoshop, as you can tell, it's really, really cool. Now, also what you can do here is you can add a variety of images together and make one specific image. So for example, here, I'll go ahead and create a new chat. And then I'll click on tools and click on create images. Now I'm gonna upload two images. So here we go, we have an image of me in this suit and then also we have this image of Thailand. So what I wanna do here is put me in this image. So here we go, put me in the image walking on the beaches in Thailand. So essentially with this nano banana model is you can add a variety of images together and create one unified image. And bam, just like that, you're now gonna see that we have an image of me waving my hand and I'm right here in the beach of Thailand. Now you can always instruct the AI to modify this. So if you want me to perform uh, something else, like if you want me to change my outfit, you can always instruct the AI to change the outfit or make any adjustments to the images. And it works just like Photoshop. But just to give you an example, I think a suit on the beach is not practical. So I wanna change my clothes to beach clothes. And bam, here we go. We have an image of me with some beach clothes waving on the beaches of Thailand. Now you can also use this in conjunction with other tools like Google VO3. 
For example, maybe you want to create a video of yourself jumping into the boat and then sailing off into the sunset. We can actually take these photos and make videos with Google VO3. So after I do that, here I'll click on Tools and click on Create Videos with VO. Now I can take that image and then I can make a full on video with it. So over here, I'll go ahead and take this, drag that right here. So here we go. Create a video of the man on the beach jumping on the boat and have the boat sail away. Now what's going to happen here is Google VO3 is going to create a full on video using this specific image. And after about a minute of waiting, we now have a video. Now I have never seen this. I'm not even going to like edit the video. I'm just going to gamble here and, and see what happens. So here we go. We got me. And it looks like I'm going to the boat. I jump in the boat and then it's sailing. <laughs> you know, it could have been longer, but uh, I do recommend that if you do want to create videos with Google VO3, I have a whole nother video on that and I'll put that in the video description. But overall, you can see how you can animate your photos using Google VO3. So let's make something more advanced. But to do that, we need to go to ChatGPT. So over here, I'll go to ChatGPT and I'm going to enter in this prompt. I am using Google's Nano Banana to make photos. I want to create an image of me in the matrix. Can you create a descriptive prompt for this AI to help generate the photo? Now, the reason why ChatGPT is much better than, you know, doing it yourself, because obviously the AI is a lot more descriptive. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this and then we'll go back to Google Gemini and under tools, I will select the create images and then I'll paste in this prompt. And right here, I'm going to let the AI know that this is me with the photo attached of me, photo attached. And then I'll upload an image of myself, upload files. Here, I'll select this image of me. Now here you'll see this image has a background. Now, usually the AI is pretty good at removing the backgrounds for you, but if it doesn't, you can always remove the background, but I'm just going to take the gamble and see what it produces for me. And bam, now we have a more cinematic uh, photo. As you can tell, the image is a lot more high res. It's using 4K and overall, you know, it's a lot more descriptive. It's not so simple and basic. So if you do want to create more complex images with Nano Banana, I definitely recommend to use ChatGPT. So next, let's talk about how to make money with Nano Banana. Now, as a parent myself, I think child's books is like the best way to make money. These child's products are ridiculously expensive and we, we really have no choice but to buy them, right? So over here, I'll go to ChatGPT and we're gonna create a new story. Maybe you're a parent yourself and you wanna create your own story for your children to read just so that you know what they're reading. Let me show you how to do this. I want to create a 10 page child's books with Nano Banana. I want to make a story about a little pony exploring the Greek mythology gods. Can you make a 10 pages or here, 10 page story with images with a storyline and visiting all the gods for children? And then we're going to run this prompt. So here we go. Now we have this prompt right here. And what we can do is we can take all this and give it to Nano Banana. So I'm going to copy all this. All right. And then we're going to copy this and go back to Google Gemini. And I'll click on the create images paste in this prompt. Now here at the top, I'll go ahead and scroll up. I do recommend to actually inform the, uh, the AI that you're making a child's book. So here I'll put in, I am creating a child's book about a pony visiting the Greek mythology gods. And then it's going to run this prompt. Now, the reason why I put that is I just want the AI to know that this is for children. So it gears it more for children with like colorful, you know, colorful styles. And it's a lot more friendlier. And here we go. So now you'll see that we have a bunch of pages. So right here, we have a picture of this pony. We have the text. Now, honestly, when you create this for the very first time, you're definitely going to have to correct the AI because they do tend to misspell things sometimes. Even sometimes you give it direct text. You got to do it maybe once or twice. So once upon a time, a curious little pony named Starhoof saw a tall glowing mountain. That is Mount Olympus, whispered the wind, the wind. See right there, that's a typo. Starts trotted closer, ready for a adventure. It looks like that is her name, but it should be Starhoof, right? So you can see how it does make small errors. It's not perfect, so you got to correct it sometime. But if we scroll down, you're going to see that the images look great. You can see that uh, it's very child friendly. Uh, the text is very colorful. It looks really nice. Uh, and overall, I would say that this would make a great child book. I would probably add in a white background right here. I have done this before. So I personally created a few books. And when I do this, I like to put little banners here just to let them know where the text is and it's more easier on the eye. So essentially what you can do is you can use a combination of the Nano Banana and the Gemini model to create child's books. Once you create these images, you can then upload them to Canva and then modify them. So over here, I'll go ahead and download this image and then I'll hop on over to Canva. So here we go. So this is the actual image. And what you can do is you can add in like background colors. You can enhance it. You can also expand the actual image. And just to give you an example of what I've done, 
Uh, over here, this is the same image. And essentially what I did here was I added more brighter colors. I added in this gradients. You can also use the Canva expand feature to actually expand it so it's full width. And what this does is the Canva AI will actually read the actual image and add in more that relates to the image. And it does a really good job. So you can combine Nano Banana with Canva and then take these and upload them directly to Amazon. And just to give you an idea of these child's books, so I'll go ahead and scroll down. And here's one, for example, The Bible's Beginner. Now, the thing is with these books is the amount of work you have to put in is very minimal and the audience is massive. I mean, look at this book right here, 27,000 ratings. Do you know how many people bought this specific book? Let's take a look inside. So this is the actual book. And as you can tell, like there's not a lot going on here. They're just very simple images, but just a little bit of text. And overall, you can definitely reproduce this with AI. Now, obviously, there's a lot more ways on how to use Nana Banana. You can move background photos, you can add in your friends in photos, and a lot more. But I'll leave it up to you to go on yourself and explore all the features you can implement with Nano Banana. If you have any questions about Nano Banana or anything about AI, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you do want to learn more about how to make really uh, high-res detailed videos with Google VO3, I have a tutorial that I'll put in the video description that you can check out later. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I'll see all of you party people later.